Hi, YouTube. Okay, so uh, welcome. My name is Don Osborne, and joining me today is Kevin De Laplante from Iowa State University. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Hi, Don. Okay, so Kevin and I uh, just did kind of a big analysis of uh, some of the changes that are going on in MCAT 2015. And what I wanted to do today is essentially have a quick conversation with you, Kevin, kind of run down what we've seen as some of the changes uh, between the old MCAT and MCAT 2015, and then talk a little bit about uh, MCAT, uh, what is it, Critical Analysis and Reasoning Skills, CAR. That's right. right? That's right. Okay. Let's do so, it. So in a nutshell, um, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm a medical school admissions consultant guy. I've been doing um, MCAT and medical school admissions consulting for 20-something years. Uh, big MCAT guy. I've you know, written a lot about the MCAT and uh, taught the MCAT for a long time. Uh, Kevin, you are a associate professor? Associate professor of, of philosophy at Iowa State University. And I've been teaching critical thinking and logic there for a number of years. And I run the Critical Thinker Academy website. That's right. Okay, cool. So I just wanted to take maybe a minute or two and kind of lay out, you know, what we see as some of the big differences between the old MCAT and MCAT 2015. Um, I'm going to skip past some of the obvious stuff. We know it's going from three sections to four. We know that. We mm -hmm. know that the time is expanded. I figure anybody who's watching the video already has that figured out. But let's talk a little bit about specifically some of the, the differences in content that are changing, right? Sure. And uh, one of the things that we noticed is the old MCAT, you know, really has not had the emphasis on uh, problem solving methodology that the new MCAT seems to have. That's true. That's true. It looks like there's a new emphasis in, in the new science sections on uh, problem solving and reasoning in the natural and social sciences, and that'll be a kind of new emphasis for the MCAT m moving forward. And if you look at, uh, I think it is Academic Medicine Magazine, there's actually, back in May of 2013, there's actually a very interesting early, uh, like, uh, what is this, an infographic, I suppose? A, sure. A very early infographic. Um, and I'll put a link in the description here below about to, to it from a man named uh, Mark Krupnik. Uh, Dr. Krupnik, if you're watching, thank you very much for this document. This is very, very cool. And it's a year ago where he and his team was thinking about what are some of the real comparative differences between the old MCAT and the new. So what uh, you and I talked about, Kevin, uh, is it really looks like that MCAT 2015 is going to have a strong emphasis on Understanding differences in the way uh, natural sciences problems are solved and the way physical sciences or behavioral sciences, I should say, problems are solved. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, you know, what did we say a minute ago that, you know, every discipline has its own methodology of, of thinking, its own reasoning approach. And that yeah, reasoning I, approach is distinct. Yeah, I think the broader... The broader perspective here is that they they wanted they, they surveyed uh, faculty they surveyed students and residents in uh, medical schools to see what kind of skills they thought were important and relevant for students to learn important for success in the 21st century medical school environment and and for doctors and they discuss and they found that integrated uh, reasoning that understands the differences between natural science problems and social science problems is really important mm -hmm. issues about how public health relate to uh, so social factors as well as uh, physical factors and biological factors is um, um, there's a new emphasis on that mm -hmm. and of course there's the broader emphasis now on critical reasoning skills that's uh, part of the brand new section of the the, the MCAT and this is the um, so it's sort of the the strength you know that I uh, have and the, the 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 focus you and I did together for our new online course uh, for uh, the critical analysis and reasoning skills section or the CAR section of the new MCAT, which is to really break down those uh, skills and, you know, really explain um, in, a, in a way that you can understand step by step how to fully, like, get an understanding of the difference between, you know, reasoning within a particular argument and then how to go beyond and apply that argument to other, uh, other sections um, not just of a, uh, of a particular passage, but other sections of the test, right? I believe that what's going to happen is that MCAT, that the CAR section, is that reasoning beyond 
the passage, the ability to apply and synthesize that information, that that issue or that uh, technique, that skill is going to be tested like across like all areas of the MCAT. Yeah, I think I think that's fair to say. It reflects this idea that they want well-rounded people who can approach problem solving using complex materials and so forth, mm -hmm. and not just be passive recipients of the information, but be able to critically analyze and interrogate the information in the way that they're going to have to do in a real world context. And the new uh, critical reasoning section is different from the old verbal reasoning section mm -hmm. in this regard. It's not primarily about simply comprehending what's going on in a passage. It's right. about comprehending but also reasoning within the passage and also extending an argument presented in a passage to new contexts, mm -hmm. seeing what happens when you change the argument. And and all of that reflects the skill set that they're trying to identify mm -hmm. with this new test that's going to be important for uh, success in medical school. Excellent. So yeah, so that's why we decided to go ahead and develop um, a an MCAT training specifically for uh, the critical analysis and reasoning in order to have that skill set, you know, that, that, that specific discipline that you can then take, you can absorb, you can understand it, and you can apply it not only to cars, but you're going to wind up applying it to multiple sections on the MCAT. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, so that's what we did. We sort of broke down the kind of skills that are going to be important for working through these new passages. Mm -hmm. And I provided some context from some basic argument analysis principles that are going to be make it a lot easier to handle these more complex questions and, and uh, um, passages. Excellent. OK, good. So uh, I'll put a link to the description to the, um, the description regarding our course um, in the comments below. And I'll uh, see about putting uh, an active link right here um, yeah. on the YouTube video as well. So uh, if you're a student thinking about MCAT 2015, uh, I really welcome and invite you to take a look. See what you think. Give us your feedback. You can, if you have any questions, go ahead and list those in the comments. I'd be happy to um, speak to you about uh, any questions or concerns you have regarding MCAT 2015. Kevin, thanks very much, man. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. You too.